question about uh, health care, health insurance. I heard moments ago that uh, um, somebody over here was not able to afford to have any health care uh, insurance. And um, I know that I can only afford uh, a catastrophic plan. Uh, recent studies have uh, shown from, from Dartmouth that in places where there are, uh, where everybody is covered, the costs go dramatically down. And that's because uh, when somebody who's not covered uh, gets sick, they don't go to the doctor and they wait for a long period of time until it's almost desperate and then they go to the emergency room. And that's when it costs astronomical uh, expenses. So uh, I'm wondering if you, Governor, would uh, support a plan that would cover everybody in the state. The question is, would I support a plan that covers everybody? Yes. Now, would I support a plan that covers everybody and the taxpayer pays for it? No. just asked has already been attempted uh, here in the state of Maine. In 2003, um, a plan called Deal With Go Health was instituted. And the goal was to enroll 130,000 folks who were previously uninsured um, to do it at no additional cost to the taxpayer, to drive down health insurance premiums and improve care. So we're, for the most part, private sector business people. So upon coming, uh, in, uh, in, in office in January, the governor and uh, Mary Bean, who's not here today, looked at this and concluded that that's a, a, uh, a state-run program that did not work. Today, there are about 10,000 people, not 130,000 uh, in the program. Health insurance premiums have gone through the roof, uh, and care is not approved. So clearly, that system, to try to cover it, did not work. And some of the reforms that the legislature has given us, the governor has signed, deal with introducing competition in the health insurance uh, market to drive down prices so folks can afford it. Sure. Just one point, sir. Uh, my understanding is that Virago was covering people uh, who, who uh, were the, uh, the elderly and the most sick. And those are the people that were uh, health insurance or health costs are greatest for. That's not true. Not true? No. Let me tell you what Dero will cover. Dero, Dero, Medicaid and Medicare cover the elderly, the elderly. And there's a dual coverage. So that is not quite correct. Elderly people like myself in the workforce could get covered through Dirigo, through my employer. The whole purpose was of Dirigo is that the business would pay a percentage and the government would pay the rest. And the person covered would pay nominal. It did, simply did not work. It did not work because it did not lower the cost of health care. And what happened is then they tried to massage it a little bit by saying, oh, well, we'll reduce to, to set, you know, save money, we'll reduce the amount we pay the hospitals and the doctors and the providers. So what, did that, what ends up happening in that system is once you don't pay the doctor, for instance, a doctor's visit paid by Medicaid is like $44. The cost, is, that's probably about half of what it really costs the doctor's office. So what happens is the doctor shifts it over to people who have insurance. So voila, everybody's rates skyrocket. We have a program now that we believe is going to lower the cost for everyone. It's a private system based. We are going to allow people to go across state lines and buy health insurance from anyone they think has a program they want to buy. The other thing, the other reason that it did not work is the state of Maine came in and put in Cadillac uh, mandates with a Volkswagen wallet. You know, we, we put every mandate humanly possible 
so that you force whoever insured to cover certain all types of different things. And we didn't put the money in. And if you just do the money, if you try to put the money in, it's unaffordable. That's why the state of Maine, the insurance companies that were here have left. We're stuck with maybe two basic insurers now. The insurance companies have left because our mandates are so high. What I mean by that is most, I, I use one company in particular, Edna Insurance Company. Edna Insurance Company has a program that can, is, a, is legal to sell in 47 states. It's illegal to sell in three states. Maine is one. They have a second program that can be sold in 49 states. The state it can't be sold in is Maine. It's because what we require insurance companies to insure, they can't make a profit. So they leave and they go where it's profit. So what we're looking for is to allow the insurance companies, allow our kids, for instance, to be insured. Right now in the state of Maine, a very healthy 18-year-old who has, he's the healthiest, and an 80-year-old who's got cancer, heart disease, and everything. The difference between the two premiums, the elderly pays 1.5 times what the, the young person pays. In most states, including Obamacare, is four to one. So kids that, you know, our kids are 18 to 25, have to pay twelve to fifteen thousand dollars a year if they marry for health insurance, but they don't use it. So we need to find a better mechanism, and that's what LD thirteen thirty three is going to do. Now, is it going is it going to reduce costs immediately? No, because it's being implemented in stages. Because the state didn't have the money to implement it all at once. The, one of the features is it's going to have a reinsurance program on there. So people that work and are heavy users of the healthcare system, with this, the state will have a reinsurance program. Some call it high risk or, or whatever. They kick in so that they get healthcare at, at an affordable cost. And the youth, the young families, will be able to buy health insurance instead of paying 12 $14,000 a year for a married couple, they'll be paying like six or $7,000. So that is on its way, it's been passed, one portion has been implemented, next July another portion, and then in 13, the balance of it. So healthcare will be getting cheaper in Maine. Already we're speaking to insurance companies that are interested in coming back to Maine. If many of you think back to 1992, when every single workers' comp insurer that was in Maine left the state, it forced the government to relook at their mandates. And now there are 20 or so insurers in the state of Maine because we've gone from the most expensive workers' comp system in the country to the middle of the middle of the pack. And we've done much, much better over the last 20 years in safety. So that's what we're attempting to do with healthcare.